In this presentation, we will process payroll with our paid sick pay off setup and compare and contrast to prior payrolls where we did not have the paid sick pay set up within QuickBooks. Here we are in the for more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Home page. We currently have the open windows open. In order to open the open windows, go to the view drop down and select the open windows list. Before we process the sick pay and the payroll, let's first go to our employee center up top and we're going to go to employee center, select our employee, Anthony, and we're going to go down to the payroll information. We won't enter a lot of detail because the payroll will change depending on the needs of the company, what kind of policies are set up. But Note this item here, the sick and vacation pay. I'm going to select that item and you can look through this here, but hours available as of 9.31.8. We're going to put in an amount here. I'm just going to say five here and then hours used in 2018. I'm going to keep it at zero and say, okay. So you can look through those settings. Now I'm going to close this up and run the payroll. So we're going to say, okay, and I'm going to close this back out. I'm going to go back to the home page. We're going to go down to the employees, run the payroll once again. So another month, another payroll. We now have the sick pay set up. We're in the paid version. We're going to go to pay employees. The next tab will look similar if you're using the manual version or paid version. We're going to have 1031 is going to be the month ended. That's going to be what we want. And we're going to pay it on 110118 the next day, as is our normal kind of tradition. We're going to have a monthly pay and then pay it on the next day. We have our one employee that we will check off here. And then we're going to open the paycheck, take a look at what we have. It's copying the prior pay, which was the 161 and the one hour. We have the same information that we had for the prior paycheck. What we're going to do now is assume that he missed an hour here. We're going to say, okay, missed an hour. And we're going to say, if I, if I put that zero, once I select tab, You'll see a change to the hourly pay here. We're going to keep that overtime there. And then the net check will change, of course, as well as the gross pay will change and any taxes related to that gross pay. So I'm going to select tab and we'll see it goes down to 4,000. The everything reliant on the gross pay will be adjusted as well. Now we're going to say that uh, he's going to get that hour back. And we're going to do that by saying it was legitimate five hours of the sick pay. So we're going to select this drop down and we're going to go to not the salary sick, but the hourly sick because he's an hourly employee and check hourly sick. And the 25 rate will be the same. So we're just going to put that one hour back in place and that should bring us back to where we were prior. So I'm just going to say one hour and then tab. And that should bring us back up to where we were prior to taking that hour off. So we're back up to the 2917 net. And the gross check is now made up of the 4000 plus the 3750 plus the 25 now for the hourly sick pay. Everything else remaining the same as we can see by the net check remaining the same. So the withholdings are the same as we go through the federal income tax, the social security and the Medicare. So we're going to go ahead and say save and close. So we're going to say save and close. Everything looks good here. So we're going to continue and process through this item. Continue and create the paycheck. Once that's created, we'll take a look at the pay stub, printing the pay stub and previewing the pay stub. Here we have the current pay period and we have the 4,000 and now we've got the 25. So we're getting to that same amount that we would see for the prior paycheck, except that we have another line item, that being the 25 related to the hour sick pay uh, that was not there of course in the total hours the 161 would be in the prior check now at 160 that one hour now being down here in the six pay at 25 giving us the 4,062 much of the rest of the check being much the same as it would for the prior check and then the year to date data as we're going to close this back out we're going to close this back out we're going to close this back out and close this and let's just check the check then if we go to the banking drop down and use register using the checking account register and we see then that we have this item the blue line indicates because of the current date that we're in now so that means it's in the future that's okay this is a practice problem 
So we've got the 11 1 and the prior check on 10 1, the amounts being exactly the same because, of course, the number of hours are the same. However, the one was in the normal hours and the other was in the sick pay hours resulting in the same check. You can check on this item to see the detail for it. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.